Hello, math lovers. Today's question is: A manufacturer decreased the cost of production of an item by twenty percent, but left the selling price unchanged. As a result of which, his profit as a percentage of the cost price increased by thirty percentage points. What will be his profit percentage if he reduces the cost of production by a further twenty-five percent? So let's find the answer out. So let the initial cost price C P of that manufacturer be rupees hundred and his initial profit B P. So his selling price S P will be cost price plus profit that is hundred plus P. Now it is given in the question that the manufacturer has decreased his cost price by twenty percent. He left the selling price unchanged. As a result of which his profit percentage increased by thirty percentage point, that is P plus thirty. Because he reduced the cost price by twenty percent, so twenty percent of hundred will be rupees twenty. So rupees twenty deducted from rupees hundred will give us rupees eighty. So his new decreased cost price will be rupees eighty. So our profit percentage will be P plus twenty. This twenty is the margin between his. Old cost price and his new cost price, that is rupees twenty, that will also be his profit because the cost price which he has decreased will automatically be his profit. So his total profit will be p plus twenty. His cost price will be eighty. So profit over cost price will give his profit percentage, that is p plus thirty. So we can equate these both, and when we solve them, we'll get p equals to rupees twenty. So if p is rupees twenty, then the manufacturer's selling price will be hundred plus p, that is hundred plus twenty. That is selling price is now rupees hundred twenty. Now it is given that the manufacturer again reduces the cost of his production by twenty five percent. That means twenty five percent of his cost price rupees eighty will give rupees twenty. So rupees eighty minus rupees twenty will give rupees sixty. So his new cost price now is rupees sixty. Our question is to find is his profit percentage. So his final profit percentage will be selling price minus cost price. That is profit over cost price into hundred. So now we know that is selling price is hundred twenty. So we'll write hundred twenty here minus his cost price, which is rupees sixty. So hundred twenty minus sixty is sixty. His cost price is sixty. So sixty over sixty will give us his final profit percentage as hundred percent. Therefore, his final profit percentage will be hundred percent answer. Now to sum it up and also verify, I'll tell you a story. This manufacturer's initial cost price was rupees hundred. His initial selling price was rupees hundred twenty. So his initial profit was rupees twenty. This is because profit equals to selling price minus cost price. So rupees hundred twenty minus rupees hundred is rupees twenty. His initial profit percentage was twenty percent. Because profit percentage is given by profit over cost price into hundred. That is rupees twenty over hundred into hundred will give us twenty percent. Now this manufacturer decreased his cost price by twenty percent. That is twenty percent of rupees hundred is rupees twenty. So rupees twenty deducted from rupees hundred will give us rupees eighty. His new reduced cost price. Now the amount by which his cost price has reduced to rupees eighty. That is rupees twenty will also add to his profit. So his new profit will be rupees twenty plus rupees twenty. That is rupees forty. And his new profit percentage will be. Fifty percent. This is because his total profit rupees forty over his new cost price rupees eighty into hundred will give fifty percent. So it is verified that his profit has increased by thirty percentage point. This is because his initial profit percentage was twenty percent. His new profit percentage was fifty percent. So fifty percent minus twenty percent is thirty percent. Now this manufacturer again reduces his cost price by twenty five percent. That is twenty five percent of rupees eighty is Rupees twenty. So his new cost price will come out as rupees sixty, and the margin that is rupees twenty will again add to his profit. So his new profit will be rupees forty plus rupees twenty, that is rupees sixty. So his new profit percentage will be his new profit, that is rupees sixty over his new cost price, that is sixty. Sixty over sixty will give us hundred percent. Therefore, after two reductions in his cost price, this manufacturer will enjoy a hundred percent profit. Thank you.